hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to my youtube channel if you're new i've noticed in absentia that um we've gained uh, a few more family members uh, guys i really appreciate it and for those of you who have stuck around even though i have been away i'm really grateful um yeah uh, guys there's a lot of life that happens behind these cameras but i'm not even gonna go on and on and on about excuses uh let me just say that i'm gonna do better by you guys i'm gonna get the hang of consistency and i'm just gonna do better right so um let me start by actually congratulating the winner of uh the last episode's uh easy equities voucher if you guys remember we have a voucher uh thing going on but i'm actually gonna announce now that that was the last one i did mention in the intro video that we're gonna try that out for uh three months uh it has been three months now this is episode four we have been giving we've given out three vouchers now and yeah that's enough but worry not um there will be more uh, giveaways coming as we grow and as time goes right so congratulations lelo that is the winner of the last episodes um is equities voucher and the last is equities voucher for the series right guys it is november that means festive season is upon us and that means spending season is upon us now what better content to put out there other than content about managing our money better today we are going to talk about credit cards and i'm going to give you five tips on how to manage your credit card and i will be speaking in the uh, context of south africa because that is where i am based but if you're listening from anywhere else some of the tips may pretty much work for you as well right so i'm actually going to take my <coughs> notes here guys i am still recovering from a flu so please <clears throat> please forgive my voice um let's start tip number one you want to use your credit card for everyday purchases so things that you would buy anyway on a debit card so these are your groceries your toiletries whatever you buy on your debit card use your credit card for so things that you already have money for right um so this will help you uh, stack up on credit card rewards all credit cards if i'm not mistaken yes all credit cards in this country have um credit card rewards as you swipe at least my bank does my credit card every time i swipe i get um credit card rewards right and i've actually seen them come in handy if i can just tell you a personal uh story of something that happened recently or like three months ago in august I had a, a a very close friend of mine her son was turning one right uh, but at the time I was actually quite cash poor and one thing I will not do is I will not um, withdraw from my my family's or I and my husband's savings um, and investments to spend on birthday gifts or things like that if it's not a life and death situation I'm not withdrawing from my savings and investments right not for myself and not for um anyone else right so so what happened was i was cash poor but i wanted to do something a first birthday is a big deal right um so i was just perusing through my money app which is something i do sometimes just to do a uh, <coughs> house housekeeping <laughs> on my uh bank transactions and things like that and then I actually checked and I, th I saw that, wait, I've stacked up quite a lot of credit card rewards. And I was, at least my bank gives me the opportunity to cash out the credit card rewards as cash. And I was able to cash quite a good amount as cash to um, get my, my um, uh, I say my son, because I do treat my kids, I mean, my, my friend's kids as my own. I take some bit of responsibility. Uh, just a little, very little. <laughs> um, so I managed to cash out some good amount of money to 
by the boy I mean, and is equity's voucher for his first birthday by the way this is a resolution that i've made for myself that i will buy my um kids my I keep saying my kids my friends kids uh easy equities vouchers instead of toys for things like uh birthdays or milestones or those sort of things the things that we typically buy gifts for right and this is not to say that i think that toys are bad they're definitely not because they help in the development of the baby i just think that their parents are already doing that other people are already doing that they don't need more toys in my opinion so I am gonna be the auntie that buys um, vouchers. And I felt really good actually to be able to withdraw my credit card rewards uh, that I've been stacking up from buying my groceries and my typical um, monthly purchases uh, to buy my friend's son uh, his equities vouchers to invest in his future. It felt really good. So yeah, that's point number one. That's tip number one. Um, you use your credit card for everyday purchases that you already have money for Right um, And then tip number two would be that you should pay every single month Most credit cards if not all in this country actually give a 55 day grace period or a 55 day interest free period but I would say that every single month because firstly you're using your credit card to pay for things that you already have money for anyway so you should be able to settle um, your credit card bill every single month um, this will help you to avoid paying any interest in uh, credit card interest because credit card interest rate is high all right it is crazy in this country okay um and it's really not worth it paying that interest um i have never paid a cent in credit card interest and this is not even beating the the, the bank uh, at its game i've heard someone say something about beating the bank at its game please this is not it <laughs> okay the bank is already making its back from you just having that credit card all right uh, just owning it the bank is already making enough the bank hires smart people to make sure that they always make their back out of us all right um, but not paying your interest rate is just you not giving them that little bit more that is unnecessary okay so do yourself that favor okay the third tip is when you get a credit card read the terms and conditions look at the rewards programs look at the um what the bank offers or different banks offer and get the credit card that suits your life for example for a person who loves traveling or yearns to travel you want to get a credit card that has travel benefits for example my bank gives me uh free access to the bidvest lounge um yeah uh, and uh travel insurance up to if i'm not mistaken this is five million um so if i were to travel if i pay for my return flights maybe to another continent if i pay for my return flights using my credit card um should emergencies happen i will be covered for um five million but again i mean five million rand but again remember to read the terms and conditions right um other credit cards uh will offer actually credit cards are quite useful because they can even offer you things like uh, purchase protection for imagine uh you get a big ticket item like maybe like um what's a big ticket item like um an expensive uh, couch for example and then you pay using your credit card and then you find that you actually have to return it or you're not happy with the quality or whatever whatever um and the retailer is giving you trouble if you paid using your credit card you might be actually be able to be compensated for that purchase right um some credit cards also offer like fraud protection for when you buy or purchase anything over um over the internet online if you are an online buyer um sometimes you might be susceptible uh to scams um, I mean, if you find that you've been scammed um, while buying online um, and you use your credit card to pay, you might actually be refunded by your bank. 
via the um, fraud protection um, offer that some credit cards have which mine has i think a lot many banks in the country have right um so credit cards are not taboo really they are not we can use them to the, our advantage they are globally accepted way more globally accepted than uh, your debit cards so they're not taboo just use them to your advantage right um fourth tip is that you want to keep your credit utilization low so a credit utilization is a percentage of your total credit limit um, that you use so for example if your credit limit is hundred thousand rand on your credit card um, which the bank offers you based on your um, income and based on their specific calculations or risk calculations um, you want to use 30,000 max within a, uh, a period of 55 days or in this case um, not advising please none of the stuff that I share on this series guys is financial advice okay this is not financial advice but um, I in this case I'm recommending that we pay our credit cards in full every 30 days or every payday right um, so you want to make sure that in that cycle uh, you use your credit card to a maximum of 30 percent of your credit limit that is credit utilization um, that will actually help you bump up your credit score right um, and once you get a good credit score your bank might actually offer you preferential interest rates um, that are maybe uh, at prime or prime plus okay that's too ambitious uh, but it will give you preferential interest rates that uh, uh, an ordinary person out there does not have access to right um, so yeah so this can come in handy if you want to buy if you want to get a bond or you wanna you want some car finance those big stuff that people usually have to get um, loans for you um, if you keep your credit utilization low this might work um, in your favor when it's time to actually seek some credit all right um, so actually here and again this is not financial advice um, if your bank offers you a higher or what you feel like is a higher uh, um, credit limit I would take it so that I can use my credit card freely knowing that I won't exceed my 30% credit utilization right so but if you're gonna do this you have to trust yourself you have to know that you have the absolute discipline to use your credit card properly and responsibly so don't get a high interest rate if you already know that you are launchable okay so <laughs> um, so to be able to keep your credit utilization low and still be able to use your credit card as much as you want to stack up on those reward points get the higher end or the higher uh, credit limit that your bank offers you but remember only do this if you trust yourself for discipline because if you're not it can really turn catastrophic um it can really turn cat catastrophic if you use all of that credit and then you end up paying credit credit card interest nothing scares me than credit card interest i have sworn on my life i will not pay a cent in credit card interest rates those interest rates are crazy all right they are humongous <laughs> in this country they're really high and they're not worth paying at all so if you know that you're not disciplined don't do this at all get the minimum uh credit limit that your bank can offer you just get the minimum or not get a credit card at all which is not great because then you miss out on all the uh benefits that a credit card can offer right so uh the last um the last tip or last point which is uh the fifth point is that 
and this is a plea please do not use a credit card for your wants okay do not use a credit card for your wants that you do not already have money in your debit card to purchase at the time you can live without that designer shoe designer bag designer perfume listen you can live without those luxury things you can defer another month another three months another six months before you can get those things it would really be unfair to yourself to make yourself pay high interest rates um just for you to fit in just for you to get the latest thing just for you to uh flourish in a I won't mention brands in high-end brands, uh, you know, so it really does not make sense. Do not use a credit card for your wants that you cannot settle by the end of the month. All right. Uh, do not use them for things you do not need. And I know some people might argue like there are things like um, black text or whatever. That's a whole topic on its own. And I um I plan to have a topic on that to um, put my thoughts out there on how we can manage this. It's important to help our families, right? But it's also important to manage expectations. If you have to use a credit card to help with black tax issues, the real point is that you actually cannot afford to help like that. So don't give your family ideas that whenever they need anything you are available you can do it because you have a credit card because the credit card money is not yours you know so but anyway black tax is a topic on its own it's it's really a topic on its own um so i'm gonna leave it there but the last point is do not use a credit card for your wants at all okay um yeah i think you get my point guys thank you so much for sticking around um thank you for listening up until this far if you listen up until this far please like the video if you liked it please comment down below tell me your credit card stories tell me what blunders you've performed with your credit cards luckily i don't have any such stories to tell i deferred getting a credit card until my very big age um yeah like please let's um engage in the comment section please share with your friends your neighbors your neighbor's cousin let's get more people to get to um, access to this content because this is spending season this is a dangerous season this is a season when we're supposed to consume content like this okay um yeah okay i'm rambling now guys thank you so much keep well i love you until next time bye